why you so close to my face. Hello from Hong Kong, where I live. And it is the holiday weekend for tomb sweeping, but I haven't got any tombs or relatives to sweep in Hong Kong, so I am going camping. Uh, we are in Sai Kung, one of the country parks in Hong Kong, and we are going to go to Tai Long Wan Beach, which is one of the best, if not the best, beach in Hong Kong. We're actually here at the first beach, which is not where we're staying, but it's nice to see that the typhoon hasn't completely destroyed the beaches. Sand's still really nice and white. A uh, little bit busy on this beach for my liking, to be honest. So onwards we go to the next beach. So we come across this really strange structure. Apparently it's a stargazing site. I mean, Generally, I think you could just sit down in a field or we are by the beach, so you could sit down on the beach and stargaze. But apparently you need special implements in Hong Kong and a special structure to do stargazing. So this is the second beach where we are picking up our tents and it looks good, but it's really busy. So we might try to go for the third beach after all, uh, but let's see. So this is the beach I remember, but these tents were definitely not here before. Not really that happy about it, but I guess I'd be a bit of a hypocrite because I'm also camping. Uh, but I think we will definitely go to the third beach along, which hopefully is a little bit quieter. And here is where we're going to pick up our tent. I did call ahead yesterday to book, so hopefully they have kept the tent for me. Good to go. This is like semi glamping, right? Because we don't have to bring the tents, we don't have to cook. So, <laughs> we're also marshmallows, so I think that's good. Um, although, I'm a bit worried that there's not going to be any firewood because there's like a million people. I think this is much better, right? Yeah. <laughs> I only see less than 20 tents, which is a massive improvement. Hello, pals. This is definitely more in line with what I had in mind, so a lot less people. Still not empty, but it's Hong Kong, so... Time is it? Five to eight. Five to eight. We missed sunrise, okay. but <laughs> it was quite loud during the night. Waves were loud. The people were kind of loud. The cows were really loud. <laughs> okay. We're going for a dip. So we had hot water last night, but this thermos is quite shit, so now we've just got not even lukewarm tea, just room temperature water mixed with tea powder. Mmm, breakfast. <laughs> it's like compulsory. <laughs> yeah, no choice. Feeling really chill after having a nice morning of sunbathing, the swimming in the sea, and it's getting really hot, so I think we're going to pack up and head off. We're going to take the other path where we camped right by, which we realised after we set up tents. And there were people like going through this path the whole night, so we'll see where it goes. And cows. And cows. There were <laughs> cows right next to my head. You know this beach that was really full of people yesterday that we decided not to camp on? Well, look what they've left here today. I mean, this beach is in the middle of nowhere, so who is going to collect all this rubbish? people suck. What time? It's like springtime and it's Hong Kong so it's already pretty warm and now we've got to climb up some steps. Woo! 
Get ready to get sweaty. Okay, that climb wasn't as bad as I thought, but I, I'm still getting a bit hot and sweaty. So we're gonna find some rock pools to go and cool down in. There's a danger sign, so it must be where it is. I can't wait to get in that water. That water's nice, not too cold, but that's made me hungry, so it's time to go and find some lunch. First proper meal of the day. Mm. Lunch done, and we're not really in the mood to take the hike, which is quite boring back, so we're gonna get the speedboat back to Cyclone instead. So we're back in Sai Kung after camping overnight at Dai Long Wan, which I think is Hong Kong's best beach. What do you yeah, think? agree. Definitely. The sand was really amazing. Uh, even though it was really busy public weekend, uh, the beach we ended up in was quite nice. Now the second beach in Hampton was way too busy, but you know it's a short five minute walk over the hill and onto the next beach. Water was really nice. We didn't even get killed by those cows, which is always a bonus when you go camping and you don't get killed. If you've enjoyed watching this video, do remember to give it a like and do subscribe to my channel for more adventures in unusual places. And uh, see you in the next video. But until then, do leave me a comment and let me know where you live and what's an unusual thing about your place that people might not know about. See you next time.